Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. After a very long time, we are doing a video for CA Foundation as well. From here after, we are going to launch different different batches or different different things. And some of them for test series also we are planning. So this video is basically about, especially for the students, those who are converting from old syllabus to the new syllabus and those who are going to appear under the new syllabus for CA Foundation. Basically, it is a repeaters. Those who have done in June 23 or December 23 and they are going to reappear in June 24 under the new syllabus. So this papers, they have, we have four papers basically in CA Foundation, you know. This is paper number one is accounting, paper number two is business law, paper number three is quantitative aptitude, they have changed the name, paper number four is business economics. The topics which are excluded from your paper one that is accounting is that is even chapter number six. Before that, it is a chapter number six, average due date, account current, consignment, and sale or return basis or sale or return approval basis. By removing such, they have added vast portions in accounting itself. That is in practical scenario, GST is important because in previous syllabus, they have launched an at the beginning of GST, so never they have never included the accounting journal entries for GST in accounting. So now they have included it. GST in journal entries will, is there in your portions, new portions, and the same GST adjustments are there in the final accounts of your sole proprietor. Okay, that is final accounts of your sole trader. And they have included this accounts from incomplete records, this everything, dissolution of a partnership, uh, bonus issue, rights issue. This five units are taken from a old syllabus CA in there and they have put it in a CA foundation. This complete weightage, if you calculate this complete weightage, it is more than 20. If you put together, if you ask me, it is more than 20. How many portions they have removed in a previous examination? They may test average due date, account current or sale or return. In any three, any one will be tested before that. It means it is only worth of five marks. Sometimes consignment they will test, sometimes they may not be test. So five marks to 10 marks they have removed. Instead, they have inserted 30 marks of worth of portion. On an average, it is going to be set of 20 marks extra you need to study. 20 marks of extra weightage portions is there. In business law, previously, 40 mark worth of BCR is there. Now BCR is completely gone. 40 marks is completely removed. Now instead of putting those 40 marks, they have inserted a law that is Indian regulatory framework. Contract Act, you have three new units are there. One is contract of indemnity and guarantee. Second one is bailment. And third one is pledge. Okay, agency and pledge. That is a thing. Then LLP, why have especially inserted an LLP? LLP, you may come across with different amendments and more amendments are there. So I have included LLP also. Okay. Then Negotiable Instrument Act. Negotiable Instrument Act 1881 because it is previously there in CA Inter. Now it has shifted to CA Foundation. This contract and negotiable. This contract and negotiable. This both are previously there in CA Inter. This Indian regulatory framework is specially inserted for foundation to understand how the law will work, how the judges will work, how the district courts, how the court will work, what is the basic constitution of the law, how the law is framed. That's what the basic idea is there. In our YouTube channel, we have uploaded a regular lecture of an Indian regulatory framework. You can also refer that also for your learning purpose. And come to unit three. That is your unit three, that is your quantitative aptitude. In unit three, that is your, sorry, paper three, quantitative aptitude, nothing has been excluded. Zero percentage has been excluded. Excluded in the sense from old syllabus to new syllabus, there is nothing of the portions has been removed. Instead, they have added some portion that is your sampling unit. Before you have studied statistical description of data, right? Before that, on the statistical description of data, now will become your unit one. Unit two will become your sampling. This, I am expecting minimum two to three marks from this. Minimum two, maximum three marks from the sampling. In most worst cases, they will go up to four to five marks. And many of them are not noticed in exercise 8C. 
there is something known as application of calculus in economics finding out of marginal cost marginal revenue uh, profit revenue profit revenue function like this there are different things they have inserted a new exercise previously it was there very five sums or six sums are there in the exercise now they have given 20 to 22 problems are there in 8c if i don't remember exactly so you can also note it down exercise 8c is crucially important and there will be only a name change from time value of money to mathematics for finance. Nothing has changed. Even single question has never changed. Time value of money, they simply change the name for mathematics for finance. From only one paper, which has, I can say, 0.2 to 3% changes is only quantitative aptitude. Remaining and all is a very huge change out there. Only 2 to 3% or maximum, you can say 5% is only there for quantitative aptitude. Okay, so scoring in quantitative aptitude will become easier for you. We have uploaded lots and lots of videos. You can go and check out our playlist. We have uploaded a shortcuts. We have uploaded tips and tricks and we have uploaded a few chapters as well. You can go through that. Then coming to business economics. Previously, there was a BCK that is business commercial knowledge for 40 marks. Now the entire 40 marks has been removed, has been completely deleted. Instead of that, from CA Inter, they have taken the portion and they have put it in a CA foundation. In CA foundation, five new chapters has been included. Having an worth of 40 marks, I can say. But in your examination, the first five units, what you are there in an old portion, the same is there in the new syllabus as well. That is natural and scope of business economics, theory of demand and supply, theory of production and cost, place of different markets of production and business cycle. These are five units. Previously, this five units has been tested for 60 marks. What I am expecting from your past experience is this five units. Now they have reduced the, now they will going to reduce the weightage. This is my opinion, my thought on it. This five units will got reduced to 45 to 50 marks. The remaining 50 marks from this entire, this five new units as well. Five new units as well. Okay. Maybe they can go up to 60 marks from this five units as well because this five units are more and more crucial if you go and compare with the remaining five units, five chapters. So in this five chapters, I can say, but it is nothing but 14 units. Basically, two units in national income, four units in public finance, three units in money market, and international trade is five units. And if I say Indian economy is also one more thing, total it is going to be 15 units. You need to study 15 new units to compensate this 40 marks. To compensate this 40 marks, you need to study how much? 15 units. Basically, before it was only six chapters, right? Now you need to study more efforts on economics is also important. We will put it at last for this economics also. Okay. Now, what is this 100 and what is this 120? Because how many worth of mark has been excluded? This entirely, I can say it is only 20 marks. Okay. Entirely accounting has removed 20, BCR 40, BCK 40. So total 100 marks has been excluded. By deleting those 100 mark worth of portion, they have added 120 worth mark of worth of portion. How I can say? Because this 40 has been business law, 40 marks has been substituted by the law 40 marks. BCK 40 marks, let's say I can substitute it by the economics 40 marks. Nothing has been included. So they are going to uh, average it and they are going to test it. Only they have because what my prediction for this June 2024 is. Suppose if they ask final accounts of sole proprietor, they will never touch accounts from incomplete records. They never test account from incomplete records. Suppose they test account from incomplete records, final accounts of sole proprietor, they never will be tested. This will be a one scenario. There will be an another scenario that account from incomplete records may be tested for only five marks or final accounts of sole proprietor may be come tested for five marks the remaining 10 mark from accounts from incomplete records. In the same way, this dissolution part 
if they test admission retirement or some cases death they will never touch dissolution suppose they will test dissolution admission death retirement will never been tested this will be a one scenario there will be an alternative scenario that that admission or uh, in some cases they never test admission retirement or death instead they will go for goodwill only five mark question the remaining 50 mark from dissolution they can also be tested in that way okay and regarding those company accounts that is company accounts bonus and rights issue redemption of debentures and redemption of preferences this three units can be tested independently as well or before that you are having three units right issue uh, introduction to company accounts issue of shares and forfeiture of shares and issue of debentures right from this all the six units put together they may create a comprehensive question and they will test you that is also that scenario is also possible they if they want to ask independently bonus and rights issue will be tested for five marks redemption and preference put together can be tested for 10 marks but if i do like this i may not touch issue of shares and for feature of shares there is also good quality of question in issue of shares and forfeiture of shares. What they will do, they will, from my prediction, they will put together all the topics. They will frame one question. You need to write a journal entries to that question. They, this may happen. Always, I will say, always prepare for a worst scenario cases. Always prepare for a worst scenario cases. Never expect the question should be in your favor. Always prepare in worst favor. Think in such a way that I have done right now. Make different, different cases, different assumptions. Prepare in such a way, you will never leave anything. Okay. Once you have done, and once you go and sit in your examination, at most, even the question paper is totally worst. You never touch 60 to 70 marks. You will easily pass with 50 marks. But if you only focus on, shall I leave this chapter, sir? Shall I leave that chapter, sir? If you do like this, you will suffer in an examination hall if something goes in different way. So make sure you are focusing and giving importance to each and every topic equally and learn it, prepare it, write a test series. We are also conducting a hack test series. We are going to launch a bench for it. If you want to do, you can get it. If you want this Excel format, you can download our app given below in the description. In app, in a free resources column, we are having a document you can download it in the upcoming days. We are going to launch a test series batch, which is at a very affordable price for all those four papers with the scheduled test series. You can join those test series and you can take a benefit out of it. And the papers are valid by the professionals so that there will be a no time delay and you will get a more inputs on it so that it will be easier for you. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day.